Do I need to keep the mic on? Is it working or no? It's not working. Hey. I'm taking this off and getting out of here. Hmm? Nothing. Well, this is working. Yeah. Cool. Good enough. Yeah. Cool. It's recording. Cool. Listening to anything interesting lately? What have you been up to? I'm always listening to interesting things. Yeah. What have I been up to though? Yeah, what are you what are you Nothing. doing? I've not been making anything if if that's what you mean. Not creating. Haven't been for the past three months. Oh, right. Since I've been out of the, the art trail thing and back in with my parents. That's a good break, then. How do you get in the creative mood? Being, in, uh, becoming inspired, basically. In getting in the creative mood, you have to be inspired, I feel like. Yeah. So where do you find inspiration? Well, usually in nature and in women and music, mostly music, honestly, probably even more than nature. Saving, rescuing a plant, making art out of it, it's essentially what I'm all up to. So that stuff is kind of like premature, like at the U Labs and all that. Because I feel like most of that footage that you have though is from back then, and all that. Like I said, all that stuff that I was making then was more just experimenting and premature. And then, like all the stuff in the Blanca show there at U Labs. Like I said, I mean it was just. I don't know. Some of it's cool, but it's just like mostly me just like getting like steps like in just things that I have to do to like just basically getting ideas out that just like I want to see. That's really what all that stuff was about. And then, you know, Xylem um, there in Tech Terrace and that was going to be a plant shop. Yeah. But that fell through. So I basically just like used it as a studio at the time to just keep doing, making the kind of stuff that I wanted to or experimenting. And I just used it as a studio space. And then, you know, that lasted for, I don't even know, like maybe like six months or something, maybe longer. But, uh, so yeah, that didn't work out. And then my friend Kendra down at the art trail had me come in and, or I, I had approached her to collaborate because we wanted to do like a bonsai thing because she's a ceramic artist. So I wanted to do like plants in some of her pots and stuff. So, you know, so basically transitioned from the Xylem studio to the art trail at CASP. Um, and then that lasted, worked in Kendra's studio for 
probably like five months mm. over the whole summer for the most part or the end of some like yeah the last half of summer and into fall and that was good I mean I definitely geek out on plants <laughs> it's really all I've known for the past almost 10 years it's just like falling in love with like plants and botany and horticulture just all of it just falling in love with it over and over it's like in the off season that's I mean it's like every spring it's just like a new it's like a new love or progression of it all because it's just like so exciting it's call it spring fever I know I get it heavy every single yeah, it's time. like a seasonal, you, you kind of suffer from the seasonal affective disorder almost, you know? Yeah, like in the fall and winter, it gets kind of rough, you know, but... So many to choose from. But why though? Bonsai? Why y'all tearing up the uh, trees? Not tearing them up. Whew. How would you explain the importance of creation to someone who has the, I guess, leanings of an artist. You know, like, for me, it's like being, creating is something I have to do in order yeah. to feel, like, normal. Yeah, that's exactly, that's just a great way to put it because it's just who you are, that's how I feel, too. And when I'm not doing it, I feel depressed and, you know, not myself and uh, distracting myself with other stuff um, that's not necessarily healthy either but whenever I'm creating I feel you know the good kind of tired and like the good kind of anxious and but uh, when I'm not it's just uh, totally it's, different mode. yeah it's yeah. just like it's not really a good thing so the plant stuff that I do, like, none of it makes sense. I remember, like, when I first started doing that, like, one of us, another artist from here was like, what are you trying to say? Like, what, it, what are you trying to say? Like, what does it mean? And I'm just like, that's like the, like, I don't know. That's just like the worst thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to, but I mean, like, the more and more you dig into it, it's like, I, I guess it really just comes down to my whole thing with like using plants as a medium was to just try and frame them in a different light than, uh, than where you typically see them or in a different way, a different form than what you typically see, like not in the ground or not on a tree, but like in like a, just like a, like something that I've made that just like puts it and then, and then also mixed with different materials, you know, I mean, it's not, I'm not trying to say really anything, I'm, it's, uh, I'm just trying to show, like, just put in a different perspective. I mean, that's like... Yeah, it's your vision, man. I mean, yeah, I mean, you don't have to, like, with art, I feel like you don't, because if you're trying to say something, it's usually like that means it's like political or poetic or whatever and like that's great but you know maybe it is like poetic or whatever you know I think I think flower arrangements are poetic you know I mean that's why artists you know use paint paint flower arrangements so much because they're beautiful to look at and they're just arranged in a certain way so it's like that's kind of like the point is to just look at something just like you would in nature and just be like, huh, 
Like, if, if it makes you smile, if it makes you laugh, or makes you mad, or whatever, I mean, I guess, like, the point is just to be, pro like, provoke you in a very simple way, just to, you know, make you look twice, or just, you know, when people just, like, kind of look at it for a little bit and kind of see the types of different things that I use in it or whatever, I mean, you know, even if it's just, like, that's neat or whatever, like, I honestly, that's not what I'm going for, but, you know, it, it is, it is neat, though. It's, like, so whatever. My whole thing is, like, I, I want to get back into painting, ultimately, and then the, the, the plant sculptures and the plant works, uh, they kind of partner with the paintings, and I, I think that's my whole concept that I'm going for. Right now? Yeah. Because that's what I kind of had um, dipped my toes in while I was at uh, at working with Kendra and showing with Kendra is yeah because I did do like some paintings and stuff and they went well with the sculptures and I think it it explains more what I'm trying to say about all of it as far as like plants and flowers being interconnected with the art world like in that video there's like that you have a shot of me just like clipping a rose off and putting it in like the bird bath you know it's just <laughs> yeah. like so like the rose was on it was it was right there it was, uh, it was hanging above the bird bath but it wasn't ever gonna be in the bird bath until it had all fallen apart so it's just like I guess that's a kind of like a good little a really simple way to put like you know, or at least like flower arranging, but kind of, I mean, in a, in what I have been doing is just like taking something and moving it and putting it into like something it wouldn't have been in. Um, so just the setting, changing the setting up. Do you have a PSA? What does that mean? Public service announcement. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't.